Ryan Mason scored a hat-trick as Swindon thrashed crew. New signing Nile Rangers' first league goal for the club put them ahead. And then it was all about on-loan players from Tottenham just before half-time. Swindon made it two. Massimo Luongo, who signed permanently from Tottenham today, so he's signed. Hooray, 400,000. Finding the net. Did he mean it, though? That's it. Kasim passed to Mason to make it 3-0. Cruise afternoon got worse. Alan Martin brought down Ranger. Penalty given. Mason took the penalty, scored his second of the day. And when Alex Pritchard's cross fell to Mason, he finished to claim his third. Niall Range has been thrown a career lifeline by Swindon. He bagged his first Robins goal in the League Cup at QPR on Tuesday. His first league goal followed four days later. Swindon have been given a helping hand by Spurs. They currently have three players on loan from White Hart Lane, while Massimo Luongo's just signed permanently. His cross deceiving Cruz, Alan Martin. The second half belonged to another of the young Spurs. Ryan Mason grabbed his first league goal for three and a half years after good work from Yasser Kassim. Mason had to wait only nine minutes for his next goal. Ranger was chopped down by goalkeeper Alan Martin. And Mason clearly was the player with a taste for goals. His penalty taken with real self-belief. It seemed there was no stopping Mason now. Alex Pritchard with the hard work here down the left-hand side. And the most deft of touches saw Mason claim his first senior hat-trick. Mind you, it wasn't the perfect display. After Ranger was tripped by Alex defender Mark Ellis, referee Andy Davis gave a second penalty. This Mason spot kick was saved by Martin. 5 0 though, and a good week became a great one for Swindon. I thought it was excellent, start to finish. Uh, first sort of 10 50 minutes, we were trying to feel them out a little bit, and then uh, for the rest of the game, I thought the players, the players, the staff, the supporters were fantastic. It means both Gillingham and Bristol City continue to look for their first win of the season, and what a great few days it's been then for Swindon Town, of course, beating QPR at Loftus Road in the League Cup. In midweek, and now 5 0 winners against Crewe on Saturday, and also missing a penalty. But Leroy, I tell you what, the Tottenham link at the county ground is certainly bearing fruit. Certainly is. Ryan Mason with a hat trick here, here against Crewe. And uh, I mean, they're calling them Swindon Hotspurs. And I think it's sometimes, <laughs> it's not just, you know, you know, what you know, it's who you know. I know Lee, Lee Powers has a really good relationship with, with Tim Sherwood at Spurs, and I think there's three permanent signings there, yeah. three on loan at the moment. So, yeah, it's re really is uh, I mean, bearing some really good results for them. Uh, at this rate, I think, the, the, by the way the Tottenham are recruiting, I think the first team from last season will be there soon, won't they? Oh, well, they'll have Adebayo, Defoe and Dembele <laughs> in their first team. They keep going this way. Some football for you now. And Swindon manager Mark Cooper said he couldn't fault his team after their five-goal stunner against Crewe yesterday. But there was more disappointment for Yeovil in the Championship. Niall Rangers' first league goal for Swindon kicked off their impressive victory. It was followed by this left-foot finish from Massimo Luongo, who's now been signed from Tottenham on a permanent basis. But it was Ryan Mason whose hat-trick gave Swindon their top draw performance. Uh, I thought it was excellent, start to finish. Uh, first sort of 10, 50 minutes, we were trying to feel them out a little bit. And then uh, for the rest of the game, I thought the players... The players, the staff, the supporters were fantastic. And a uh, fantastic day for us, and, and hopefully we, we continue, continue to win people over. Swindon brushed aside crew in a performance that boss Mark Cooper described as fantastic. Niall Ranger managed to stay on site and calmly beat keeper Alan Martin to open the floodgates. Massimo Luongo's cross shot made it 2-0. He celebrated his arrival for £400,000 from Spurs on a three-year deal in the best possible fashion. 
Cooper's decision to start with Ryan Mason ahead of Ryan Harley was rewarded. After collecting Yasser Kassim's pass, Mason made it 3-0 at the start of the second half. Crew have now lost all three away games in the league so far this season without scoring. And when Martin brought down Ranger, Swindon were gifted a penalty. Mason took it and made the most of the opportunity. Mason's on loan from Spurs and he left the ground with a match ball. It's his first career hat-trick and it was confirmed when he made contact with Alex Pritchard's cross. The margin of the Robins win could have been greater when Mark Ellis's challenge on Ranger won another penalty and added on time. But Martin made sure that Mason didn't have it all his own way. Swindon have turned the county ground into a fortress. They're unbeaten there since late February. I saw Swindon's Massimo Longo skull on Saturday and thought, he didn't mean that, did he? I didn't mean it. I was dribbling down the left side and saw a runner at the far post. I tried pin on his head, but I ended up just chipping the keeper. What a ripper. What a ripper. 